gentle flavor, sweetness, orange with African root, pouring over my tongue as a warm mug cradled in my cupped hands meets my lips. The morning view to the outer world through the large pane glass doors reveals glimpses in an expanse of nature. Here by one, no two, no five, no twenty, California quail, with peculiar and dangling forehead protrusions, scuttle about the meadow's edge. They fluff their feathers, frequently shifting positions and locations with each other over land, while pecking at the ground for some sustenance of which I'm not aware. Quail, but then also, right there, some sort of other bird, perhaps a wren or a sparrow. I wish I knew more about it. The recent years have birthed in me a desire to know the creatures of the earth, including such birds that previously could not hold my attention. It seems the knowledge would bring me closer to them, allowing more nature participation. I have no interest in dominion. There, five, maybe ten feet beyond the birds and fowl, a hare of some variety. All this in the foreground, with the middle view, Dry, brown, early spring grasses spread over the open expanse, the shrubs and skeletons of trees bearing the beginnings of green summer leaves. The call and songs of the various flying creatures floats over the crispy, freezing air. Over the expanse, other manner of birds take flight. Is that black one a raven? A crow? I don't know. At the far end of the grassy opening is a low-lying lake. The water is deep, dark, dusky blue, reflecting the early morning sky's pale blue. Betwixt these two are mountains of varying angles, some on their western faces, holding snow from the night before, which will likely not last the day. Small trees are sparse on the rocky, grassy slopes and remind me of biblical places of which I've never been. I recall the amazement of seeing cattle on the inclines of these mountains. I had no idea a cow could be so nimble, determined, and adventurous to go to these places for food that most humans could not venture to. But recall the glass door, the tea. There is also a heater or two near me, a cushioned chair, and a bed beyond. How do these creatures do their lives day by day, moment by moment? The cold, snowy nights, the damp, rainy afternoons, the sunny, frigid mornings. Double panes of melted sand press thin and clear. It separates and it protects, but it too is elemental. We are all elemental. I long to be the elemental creature I am.